Hello and welcome to Let's Play Alex Kidd High Tech World on the Sega Master System, Sega 1989. Uh, the object of the game is to get Alex Kidd to a new video game arcade in town. Uh, there are four levels in total. The first and third levels are RPG style, and the second and fourth levels are very difficult but short platformers. Uh, the first level, uh, which is this one, uh, this is the demo by the way, uh, the first level is by far the longest. Um, in this level we have to explore Alex Kidd's castle and talk to people and, and the object of this is to find 8 bits of notepaper which are really parts of a map to the video game arcade and they're quite tricky to find. Um, and we only get eight hours, in, or rather eight hours in the game to do it. So it starts at nine o'clock, and we have to, um, and we have to leave the castle before 1700, I think, or something like that. Um, and uh, the more people to whom you talk, uh, the more time is wasted. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to the title screen. Okay, after the first, second, and third levels, you can get a password and use that here. Resume a saved game. Otherwise, yeah, you have to start a new game here. Okay, I hear that a new arcade has opened in the next town. Really, let's go then. Where is it? And the only map was cut. Uh, the only map was cut up into eight pieces of note paper. What? Well, if I put the map back together, I don't know where the pieces of uh, I don't know where the pieces of paper are though. And then I'll start the search for the paper right away. And here we go. Okay, so first things first. Look at the clock. It says nine. Uh, it says nine o'clock. Okay, go in this door first if you want, but it's more or less a waste of time. Uh, this is Alex's room. Okay, search here if you want, and there's a, pe uh, there's a pencil and a razor on the desk. Take them? Yes. Okay, but it doesn't matter, we don't need them. Okay, so now we want to go in this room here. Um, ignore the, the telephone for now, we'll be using another, another telephone later. Okay. Alex, what's wrong, my son? Um... Papa, did you use a sheet of notepaper by any chance? Uh, do you mean this? Yes, that's it. Is there something special about it? Could you give it to me, please? I don't see what the big deal is, but if you want it, here, take it. Thanks. Okay, immediately check uh, your inventory by pressing button 1, and it says it's a fake, so talk to him again automatically. Papa, did you perhaps take another sheet of notepaper? Well, now that you mention it, is this it? Yes, that's it. Thanks, Papa. Okay, and I would have had to walk into that, but I was already on top of it. Okay, so that's the real bit of paper, and we have that. Okay, so there's the piece of the map. Brilliant. Okay, so now we want to go right... Um, or rather, left, rather, sorry, and down the stairs. I need to read my directions better. Left, downstairs, and then right and into the first door. I think this is Alex's grandfather. Prince Alex, and how are you on this... Fine day, sir. Hey, Pops, did you use a sheet of my notepaper? Pardon? In any case, did you finish your test for Mary, your tutor? Not exactly, but... And uh, then hurry to her home and finish the test. We'll talk later. Okay, that's that. Okay, now we want to go to the right downstairs and left first door. Uh, there's the other phone. We'll be using that one later. Okay, first door. Here we go. Prince Alex, uh, today is the day of your test. Please have a seat. Mary, did you use any notepaper today? Yes, I used some before. Could you please give it to me? I will if you do well on the test. Let's begin. Okay, what's the capital of Japan? Okay, Seoul is the capital of South Korea. Beijing, or Peking, as it used to be known as the capital of the People's Republic of China. That's the, 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 the Republic of Korea, not North Korea, which is a democratic people's republic. No, the People's Democratic Republic of Korea. That's North Korea. Uh, and Tokyo is the capital of Japan, the Empire of Japan. Okay, what is the name of the 15th scene in space area? I don't really know this, but apparently it's Vicel. How many grams in one pound? Approximately 450. Where were the first Olympics held? I'm pretty sure that was Athens. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, blah 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 blah, all the way up to 100. Okay, now this is very interesting. In the 18th century, I think in the 18th century, there was a mathematician called Gauss, and in his childhood... Um, he he was in class, and his teacher gave him, or rather gave the class, a problem that he hoped would keep them busy for 15 minutes or so. Um, uh, uh, but little did he know how brilliant Gauss was, and he came up with the solution only after a couple of minutes or something. Um, and this is what Gauss did. I mean, everyone else in the class, I think they just went, oh, one plus two, and they added up bit by bit. And that's perfectly fine. You can get the right answer like that, but it'll just take longer. But there is a shortcut. Uh, uh, now Gauss realised that uh, that one plus a hundred equals one hundred and one, 
Uh, 2 plus 99 equals 101. 3 plus 98 equals 101. 4 plus 97 equals 101. Blah, 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 blah. All the, all the way up to 50 plus 51 equals 101. Uh, uh, and how many numbers are in that series? Well, there's 100, aren't there? Uh, because it's, uh, cause it's 1 uh, all the way up to 100. That's 100 integers. Um, 100 positive integers. And so if you pair them off... Um, like that, 1 and 100, 2 and 99, 3 and 98, blah, blah, blah. If you pair them off, then you'll end up with 50 pairs. You'll end up with 50 pairs. It's actually 50 pairs of numbers uh, that add up to 101. So it's 50. So the answer is 50 times 101. And 50 times 101 is 50 times 100, which is 5,000. Um, and we add that on to... 50 times 1, which is 50, so 5,000 plus 50 is 5,050, and that's the answer. Bingo. Now, uh, uh, this is an example of an arithmetic series, uh, uh, and by that we mean that uh, the difference between each consecutive numbers is only 1, so it's 1, then 2, then 3, and 4, so it's only 1 difference. If we change that and make it so it's only 1 plus 3 plus 5, so all the odd numbers, then, it, uh, then we need to think about it slightly differently. So how many odd numbers are there in that in that series? Well, there are 50. There are 50 odd numbers. And how many even numbers are there? Well, there's also 50 because there's 100 numbers overall. So because there's 100 numbers, there has to be 50, and they're all all consecutive. Um, there has to be 50 odd ones, and there are 50 even ones. So it's um, so if we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, blah, 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 all the way up to 99, which is all, which is all the odd numbers, then there are 50 in total. So let's say, uh, 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 let's say that 50, uh, let's say that's the number of terms there are. Let's call them terms. So there are 50 terms, the 50 odd numbers added all together, and the common difference is actually 2 in this instance. Now the formula for that is, and there's a proof of this which is uh, more, more complicated to go into, but you can look it up on YouTube if you want. The formula for any arithmetic series, you know, uh, uh, um, if you want to find the sum of them, is, is you take the number of terms, in this case 50, and multiply it by, in brackets, the first term plus the last term. In this instance, the first term is 1, last term is 99. So uh, the sum of the first 50 odd numbers is, um, uh, is 50 divided by 2, and because the formula is uh, the formula is n over two multiplied by the first term plus last term. I might have said that wrong, but that's the formula. So number of terms divided by two multiplied by the first term plus the last term. So 50 divided by two is 25, and 25 plus 100 is um, 25 plus 100 is, uh, or rather 25 times 100 is. Uh, 2,500. So that's how many. That's the sum of the first. That's the sum of the first odd numbers. The sum of the first even numbers. Well, you can use the same formula. There are 50 of them, so it's 50 divided by 2 again, multiplied by 2 plus 100. So it's uh, 25 pl uh, times 102, which is 2,500 plus 50. So 2,550. And that makes sense because if we take the original 2,500, the sum of the first odd numbers, add that onto the sum of the first e uh, 50 even numbers. Uh, and then we get 2,500 plus 2,550, which is 5,050 again, which, uh, which makes perfect sense because the sum is of the first 100 integers, first 100 positive integers is 5,050. Uh, uh, yeah, so the formula for the first, uh, the formula for the first n integers um, is, is if if you take n to be any number, uh, uh, if you take n to be any integer, any positive integer, uh, uh, then the formula is n over 2 multiplied by um, n plus 1. So in this instance, it's n over 2, which is uh, 50, and then in this instance, n is 100, so 100 plus 1 is 101, so it's 50 times 101, which is 5050. And it also works with the arithmetic uh, with the arithmetic with the arithmetic series formula as well. So if we take the number of terms, which is 100, divided by 2 is 50, first term is 1, last term is 100, 50 times 101 is 5050, so it works with any one. But it has to, but for the arithmetic series, it has to be um, an arithmetic sequence or series. It has to be arithmetic. Um, a sequence is, isn't necessarily added together. It's just a, se uh, a sequence of numbers. A series is added together. Um, uh, yeah. So the sum of the first n numbers is actually um, a type. Is actually a type of arithmetic series. So you can have one plus four plus seven plus 
11 and have that sort of series and you can find the common difference or rather you don't even need to find the common, dif uh, common difference you just need to know how many terms there are and then you just add so if I do 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 that would be the number of terms is only 4 the common difference is um, no, it'd be 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10, wouldn't it? Because the common difference would be 3, yeah. And so, uh, if I have 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10, then the first term would be 1, last term would be 10, so it'd be 4 divided by 2, which is 2, multiplied by first term plus last term, which is 11, so 2 times 11 is 22. So, and if we do it manually, we have 1 plus 4, which is 5, um, plus 7 is 12, plus the 10 is 22, so it works perfect. Anyway, that's the formula. Anyway, so it's 5,050. I've, I've been waffling on again. Okay, how many bones are there in the human body? There are 206 bones. Brilliant. Uh, how many stars are there on the American flag? There are 50. Some people think it's 51 or 52. It isn't, it's 50. Um, what is the basic unit of Italian money, misspelled with two L's? That used to be the lira when this game came out, but it's now the euro, but it was the lira. Um, which classical composer was named Amadeus? That was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Light from the sun reaches the earth in how many seconds? Now, I know from one of my children, when I was a child, I read a, I had a really good book called Osborne's First Guide to the Universe, and in it it said the, uh, the sun uh, sunlight takes about eight minutes in order to get to Earth, and eight minutes is about four is exactly 480 seconds, so it'd be something like 500 seconds, I'd guess. Mary, uh, you passed. As a reward, I'll give you the piece of paper you wanted. Now, I have got um, I have gotten some of those wrong before. I think the pass mark is about eight out of ten, maybe. I don't know. I I, um, I never get that wrong, or, or, or rather, I never lose at this test. Anyway, so Alex says thanks. Okay, and that's the paper. Brilliant. Okay, so now we're going right and back upstairs again. We're going to talk to our grandfather again because we passed the test. Okay, so right upstairs and then left second door. Tell me, young master, how did you do on your test? I finished a long time ago. Ha! I see. Now you asked about note paper. Yes, I did use a sheet. What did you do with it? Where is it? Tell me. I burned it in the fireplace, I believe. What? Okay, don't touch the ashes, otherwise it's game over. We can't get that paper yet. We need something to make it go back to normal. Okay, so we're now going to go right and downstairs again. Then we're going to read the phone book and use the phone. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Don't worry about the pizza place. There's a phone book here, Rockwell or Pizza Land. Okay, Rockwell is the one we need. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Okay, will you dial a number? Yes, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. It's ringing. Hello, Rockwell here. Rockwell, this is Alex. I called to ask a favour. What is it? I was wondering if you might know of a way to restore some ashes into paper. No problem, I can bring some restorer powder uh, to you in less than 30 minutes. Really? Great. Thanks, Rockwell, you're a real pal. I'll be waiting. Okay, so now we're going to go left and downstairs, and then right and downstairs. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, if you ever go in a room and there's a poster on the wall, read the poster, they become important later. But uh, you can do it without doing that, as long as you know the right order for later on. Okay, left downstairs, then we're going right downstairs. Okay, so now we're going right and to the first door. Okay, this is the one in which Rockwell appears. Alex, anybody here? Okay, so just keep leaving and coming back until he appears. I think you need 20 minutes for him to appear or something, but every time you enter a door it uses up 5 minutes, I think, or something like that, or 2 minutes, something like that. So we have to keep going in and out until he appears, pretty much, if you're too early. But there's no point in waiting, because we can get it now. Nope. Here they are. Rockwell, come on in. Did you bring that restorer powder? Alex, this restorer turns ev uh, turns anything back into its original form. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Rockwell. Brilliant. How kind. Okay. Now we're going to go left and back upstairs again. We need to go back to Grandfather's room. I think he's a grandfather. Anyway. Left, upstairs, and then... 
left upstairs. And then we're going right and upstairs. Um, and we're here again, I think. I think I'll try that powder I got from Rockwell. Okay, brilliant magic. Wow, if only that were in the real world, it'd be so handy. Well, it would mean that burning your important doc, uh, it, it would mean burning your uh, your documents, you know, your bank statements to get rid of them or something, so you don't get uh, defrauded would be completely useless because you could just use this powder uh, to defraud you. So, pretty good idea. It doesn't. Well, uh, uh, it's really a good thing it doesn't exist. Anyway, it worked. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going. We're now going right to the first door, I think. Prince Alex, how are you today? Hey John, did you use a sheet of notepaper today? I haven't used any, uh, but I saw Barbara using one as a bookmark earlier. Uh, do you know what book she was reading? Uh, no, I don't. Um, no, I can't say that I do. Okay, read this. There is a sign here that says Kate is the fattest. Okay, that it, that's important for later. Okay, so now we're going right and downstairs, and then we're going left and downstairs. Oh yeah, note how that how that clock is wrong. If you notice the other clocks, you know, it already said past 10 o'clock. That one says 10 o'clock. That one's wrong, so it's a bit slow. That becomes important later. Anyway, so we're going left and downstairs, and then right then downstairs. Okay, right downstairs. Okay, now we're here again. Now we're going left first door. That's what I have written down. Ah, perfect. Okay. Prince Alex, we hear you are searching for note paper. Uh, yes, but how did you find out? You don't have any... Uh, you don't have any by any chance, do you? We do, but before we give it to you, you have to play a game with us. Um, what do you want me to do? If you guess all of our names correctly, we'll give you the paper. You're on. The arrow is pointing at... Okay, now, now this one, um, it's important. I mean, I can do it now, but the answers, if you remember that bit of paper that, uh, that said Kate is, is the fattest, that, that, um, those posters apply here. Uh, they apply to here. There are loads of them dotted around in different rooms. Um, some of the rooms only have a poster in and nothing else. So if you want to do it, work it out yourself. Just keep going in every room and note down everything. And the puzzle is, you know, it's easy to solve. Otherwise, you can do it by guesswork. But every time you get it wrong, it wastes time. That's the trouble. Um, so I'll get it wrong for you and show you what happens. Um, you got five wrong. Too bad. Come again some other time. Okay, read this poster. There is a sign here that says Kate is the fattest. Okay, we already read that, but yeah, yeah. So I, I already have the uh, the answer noted down. But um, if you don't, um, uh, if you don't, you can just read the post and work it out. Um, try and guess again. Okay, so the first one is actually Linda. Uh, is pointing at Linda. Next one is Betty. Next one is Janet. Next one is Cindy. Next one is Susie, and the last one, remember Kate is the fattest, so that's the one at the end, definitely. So that's how you know, and then the other posters say things like, so-and-so is next to Kate, or something like that, and uh, so-and-so is the thinnest, or something like that, I don't know. In anyway, so Kate um, is definitely the last one. You got them all right, we'll give you the paper, um, we'll give you the paper we promised. It worked. Okay, that's that. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, now we're going left and... Yeah, we're going all the way left into the kitchen, I think. Okay, have a look in here first. There's a water jar... Uh, there's, a, there's a water jar here with a cloth inside. Yes. Yes, that's true. No, it means do you want to take the cloth? Yeah, we have the cloth now. 
There's nothing inside. Okay, now the important one is this one. <clears throat> there's a uh, there's a garbage can here. They mean rubbish bin. Um, I wonder what's inside. Well, I call it rubbish bin anyway. Um, someone threw away a piece of note paper here. Alex takes it. Okay, that's another bit of paper. Brilliant. Here it says, well, it reads, the drawbridge is up, you can't leave. Yeah, we can't leave through this place. Okay, now we're going right and upstairs. First upstairs. And then right second door. So upstairs and then right second door. First door, that's the second one. Prince Alex, can I do anything for you? Uh, did you read any books today? Yes, actually. What book? It was called, let me think, oh yes, Baking Great Cakes. Thanks. Okay, read this if you want. There's a sign here that says Linda and Janet are next to Betty. Yes, that, that helps you out with that if you haven't done it already. Okay, now we're going right near yeah, first door. Now this one's annoying. Um, it's really difficult to work this one out. But you have to keep going in here. Um, Tom, Mark, did either of you use any? Uh, did either of you use any note paper today? Nope, Mark. Um, um, I see. In that case, no problem. Okay, now they really do have a bit of paper, but you have to keep going in and out again. And sometimes it's empty. Yeah, it's empty now. Anybody here? I don't know where they disappeared to. This one says, there's a piece of paper on here on the wall which says 45 from 30. Not entirely sure what that means. It might have, it might have something to do with the clock later on. Yeah, just keep leaving and coming back. We have no choice. We have to get this bit of paper from them. No. Nope. Don't worry, we're nearly done with this place. Come on. Keep trying. No. This is the only way to do this. I don't know how you're supposed to work this out. It's ridiculous, really. Well, this game wasn't really intended as an Alex Kid game. It was a. They released it in Europe as an Alex Kid. Well, Europe and America as an Alex Kid game. But it wasn't intended to. That's why there's Alex's father around, even though he's disappeared at the end of Miracle World. Tom, Mark, did either of you see anyone else use any note paper today? Nope. Um, I see. In that case, no problem. Okay, so keep trying. Wait for them to give it up. Did you see any note paper anywhere? Uh, not that I know of. Um, how about you? Do you know? I wonder if this is it. Yes, that's it. Thanks. You little git. Okay, let's leave now. Okay, now we're going left and upstairs. And then we're going left and upstairs again. So left upstairs uh, two times. We're nearly done with the with the castle. After I don't think I'll do everything in this video. I think I'll just do the castle level and end it because the rest of the game is really short compared to the castle. After we do the castle, we're more or less well more than halfway through the game really. Okay, so you want to go left upstairs, left upstairs until you get here, and then look inside the pot. There's a pot here. Do you want to peek inside? Yes. There's a miniature ladder inside. Take it. Yes. That's absolutely bizarre, but there's apparently a ladder there. Okay, downstairs and to the right. And then, uh, if you remember I said uh, that the clock was wrong, it's a little bit slow, so you want to use the ladder just underneath uh, the clock, that's a clue. I don't know if the 45 from 30 thing is the, uh, also gives you a clue about that, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, I just press up here, that clock is slow. I'll climb that ladder and reset the clock. There, that's better. Hey, there's a piece of note paper, that's one more. Okay, brilliant, okay, and we still have the ladder, good. Okay, left, upstairs. Okay, we want to go all the way up the ladder again, where we were. Or rather, all the way up the stairs again, where we were. Okay, now we want to go up the ladder. Okay, now we want to go right here. Don't go up that ladder yet, there's no point. Uh, across this bridge thing. And then downstairs here. and then right to the second door. That's the first one, and then we're going to the second door. Um, John, it was a book called Baking Great Cakes. A 
cookbook. Just wait for him. There we go. Thank you, John. And you can read this if you want. I haven't read it already. Oh, yeah, it says Caters of Hatters. I think we did read that, didn't we? Okay, now we want to go all the way to the right. Across this bridge, up the ladder, and look in the pot. Don't go down those stairs. There were some stairs earlier that are broken further to the right in the floor below. And if you go down these ones and it says you fall and it's game over, do not go down these stairs. I think these are the ones. There's a sign here that says uh, Cindy is the third from the right. Yes, that's another clue for that thing if you haven't done it already. So that's, uh, that's how you know which order to do it in, but I already know. Okay, so look in the pot here. There's a pot here. Do you want to peek inside? Yes. There's a key inside. Do you want to take it? Yes. Okay, brilliant. There's nothing inside, okay. Okay, so down the ladder then to the left. Let's have a look up... Uh, I want to show you something. That was that. I want to show you something else before we go up there again to the loft bit again. Um, another thing to show you. Where are we now? Where, where is this? Oh yeah, Mary again. Right, okay. Oh yeah, we want to go all the way up to the top, I think. There's another interesting thing. If you picked up the cloth from earlier, its only use is this. There's a there is a use for it. There's a use for the clock, and I can't remember. That's a dead end, so I want to go up here. I think it's over here. Yeah, I think this is it. This is our, this is our bedroom, I think. Yeah, to the right. If you, like. if you go up here... Yeah, here we are. Uh, you can't read the words at the top of the frame. Try wiping off the dirt. Well, I can read them. It clearly says... Sega is number one, but if you want to read it properly and you have the cloth and the, and the miniature ladder, if you just go underneath the dirty bit and press up, this happens, or rather left of the sign. Anyway, now it's nice and clean. It says Sega is number one. So that's that. So that's just a little, little Easter egg thing, but it's not really handy. I'll just see if he says anything else about it. No. Okay, yeah. Uh, so right now we want to go all the way back to... All the way back to where we were. Uh, where we got the, uh, what was it, the miniature ladder. Up this ladder here. This is where we got the miniature ladder, I think. No, no, the miniature ladder was down below, I think, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I go up the ladder and there's a safe. There's a safe here, it's locked, but try the key you found earlier. It's opened. There's a portable hang glider inside. Take it, yes. Okay, so now, um, now, we, now that we have the hang glider, uh, 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 yeah, that's where we got the ladder, yeah, right there. Anyway, so now we have the hang glider, uh, go to the right, go here, and this is automatic. After completing the map, uh, Alex takes off for town in the hang glider. There's also, if you go to the right on the bottom floor, I think, I think there's another door and the bloke won't let you out or something, but there's no point in going there. There's also some other doors with nothing in it, with some posters inside that, that give you clues about the servant puzzle, but if you want to go in there, but it wastes time and you need to explore everywhere if you want to find them. I can't remember exactly where they are, but if you just search around, you'll be able to find more clues for it. Uh, anyway, yeah. And that's the end of that, so we've taken nearly half an hour on this, and I think I'll end the video right here. Write down this password. M, H, small s, B, big C, Q, small s, N, T, B. Let's confirm. M, M, H, S, B, yeah, C, Q, S N T small b. Yep, that's the password. Good. Okay, so excellent. Thank you for um, thank you for watching. In the next video, I will complete the game um, and um, do the rest of it. So thanks again and goodbye.